Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanj, and today, as you can see from the different scenery, the background, we are in LA, therefore, I'm not going to be accompanied by my rail, by my shoes in the background, and it is time to present the monthly favorites. Monthly favorites is a video where I usually wrap things up. Thims. Wrap things up with regards to my recent pickups, some of the movies that I've seen, the books that I've read, and the music that I've been vibing to. Now, because this last month I've picked up so much clothes and I've actually made dedicated videos for it, I'm not going to talk about pickups that much. Instead, I'm actually going to be taking you along with me back to Paris Fashion Week when I was on a buying trip. This was the Hyder Ackerman appointment, which was the one that I was obviously most gassed for. Amazing people, amazing clothing and they were very graceful enough in allowing me to film. Now, obviously buying appointments, especially being two seasons ahead, they're not the biggest fan of, you know, just letting everything out. So I wasn't like filming everything like properly. It is kind of bits and bob, but hopefully it'll be a nice little montage and it'll give you an idea as to what you can expect from Hyder Ackerman for winter 18. All the way from the fourth floor. Now that we're back in LA, first of all, how incredible was that collection? I absolutely loved it. I thought I'd recommend it for Winter 18 is gonna do. I mean, it's always done great things, but it's just gonna go along that way. Now, unfortunately, Hyde Recommend is one of those brands that because of the very high price points, it doesn't sell as well as other brands. However, I know that they have a very core cool following and they've got an amazing selection of clothing. For Winter 18 is definitely, in my opinion anyway, stronger than the Spring Summer 18. So I'm looking forward to seeing what other stores are gonna buy and what is going to be available for us to pick from. With that being said though, let's move on to the shoes. My collections, which actually a few of you were curious to see as to what I brought out in LA. Now, I did want to do a what I'm packing to LA, but then I thought if I'm going to do an outfit diary, is there really a need to see that video? But if you do want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm here for two weeks. I brought five shoes, slightly extra, and then some slides, but like slides are a necessity, you know? So let's go with Sneakers first, pair number one. I absolutely love this pair, man. Off-white Prestos. My goal is to literally beat these up to shreds. Like, I've, wearing, I've been wearing them a lot. They got dirty, you clean them up, and they're good to go. But this pair, man, absolutely beautiful. You can wear them with pretty much everything. I've banged on about it way too much for me to even talk about it for a very long period of time, so I won't do that. Next up, one of my favorites, again, from the collection, the Air Max 97s. Now, because me and my girlfriend, well, my girlfriend's a size down from me, she still wears these so much, so I don't actually get the chance to wear these as much as I'd like to, but in LA, I was like, I'm taking these two weeks of them being here. They are your perfect sort of white trainers. They are slick, but they also kind of have that Air Max chunkiness. They're beautiful. They complement pretty much every outfit. White trainers, super easy to style, especially when it comes to trousers. You know me, I don't really wear these sort of sneakers with skinny jeans, so trousers or straight-legged denim, you're good to go. Air Max 97, 
Boom, that's shoe number two. Shoe number three, moving on to the Prada Cloudburst sneakers. These are the, I believe they might actually be the Merchants Fashion exclusive. You know, this colorway is nowhere to be seen besides there. None of the Prada stores. Super happy to cop them. You've got the greys, you've got the light blues, Prada, obviously. And again, very easy to style, very comfortable. Super, super nice shoes, man. But that is that for the sneakers. Moving on to Le Boot. We've got two pairs. Little story, when I went to Paris Fashion Week, I actually didn't pack these. And this was the first ever time I went away on a trip and I didn't pack these. I regretted it instantly. That is the Salon Bali Wyatt Harness Black Leather. I mean, to be fair, I could do with the harness as well but the harness version is just so much better in my opinion and these are by far my favorite shoe my most first well in my opinion one of the most versatile shoes and definitely top three in my collection i wear these with pretty much anything and it will work so i'm so glad to have these out in la and i feel like they're very cowboy they're very la they're very american in a certain extent so love 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 these and then i was debating between two pairs i even asked you guys on instagram between a pair of combat boots or a pair of the Balenciaga harness. I think it was like 80, 20 for combat boots. But I just had to do it, man. These are so sick. The only reason why I wasn't too keen on bringing these out actually was because they all have, they have a harness, which it can be seen on my son also. There's no need for me to really have a second pair. But then the color, the suede, the shape, the silhouette, too good to pass up. I think you can do some amazing fits with them. Plus, since purchasing them, I haven't actually shown you guys how they look with a fit, so I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to do so. I bought some amazing jeans as well that I'm going to be showing you guys much later. Hopefully, I'll do an outfit diaries, or hopefully, I'll do a what I packed to LA, in which case, you'll be able to see that there. But this is the final pair of footwear, and yeah, man, five pairs. I think that's reasonable considering some days you're going to wear two pairs, like sneakers during the day, boots at night, or vice versa. Yeah, five. Might be overpacking for a lot, but oh, you got the wires, you got the Balenciaga harness, you got the Prestos, you got the 97s, you got the Pradas. Turn around to find this guy bringing a whole. F That's it, all the shoes you ain't. Nah, I didn't bring. Alright, so you got the, the 97s, I didn't bring. You got these. What are they called? The 95s? The 95s. The Tom Fords, the Saint Laurent Wyatt's in the suede, the Saint Laurent Combat boots, black Converse's, white Stan Smith, beige Vans, the Ultra Boost, and the Vapor Max. We out here, LA! Yo, man's fully sweating out here. Also, for those of you that are gonna ask about the outfit, the shirt was caught from a vintage store, Blitz. Hat was from Lock & Co. Glasses are the Ray-Ban. Limited edition Wayfarers, I think they did, with the green lenses. Beautiful, beautiful pair. And then obviously all my jewelry and everything will be in the description box down below. Moving on to movies. Now, I, say, I feel like I'm saying this every monthly favorite. Haven't seen a lot. The two movies that I watched were both on the flight on the way here. I watched Kingsman, the second one, and I watched Blade Runner. Kingsman, great movie. It felt a bit Hollywood and it felt a bit American, which was very different from the first movie. Like to me, the first movie felt very British and there was something really cool about that. And I feel like that's why people were drawn to it. This one, they had a bit more of an American vibe and quite literally they did take the movie to America with the help of the statesman. Love the, love, I just love the, the directing, the sense of action that it has in the movie. The plot was just meh. I mean, it is what it is, but I think you can't expect to go see Kingsman and come out with like an amazing story. Do you know what I mean? Contrary to to that, you've got Blade Runner, which is an incredible movie. The set design, the costume, the way it was filmed, everything was beautiful. Ryan Gosling, one of my favorite actors. So of course I had to watch that. But A, I hadn't seen the first one. So to me, that in itself was just mad because there were so many references, which apparently ties back to the first one. And that was mad. I didn't get any of that. And B, it was just an awfully slow movie, which to sometimes is great. Like Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, very slow movie and a long movie, but, but it's cool. I don't mind watching it and rewatch that movie 10 times, if not more. This one felt a bit too slow for my liking without much going on, if you see what I mean. I wish, well, no, I'm actually gonna go back and watch the first one, so then maybe I might have a better understanding of this guy right here, but that is it for the movies. Moving on, we've got 10 musics, that 10 musics? 10 piece of music that I've been vibing to this past month. Some of it might be old, some of it might be new. Check it out. Only partly, I only love my bed and my mom, I'm sorry, 50 dollars To the homie, Go. I don't wanna see you when I wake up in the morning. Bad bitches. Cardi a body in a Rari. Diamonds all over my body. Shining all over my body. Cardi got your bitch. 
Now they see me and say boof daddy, boof daddy Everywhere I go they say boof daddy And that is going to conclude this video. Thank you ever so much for your continuous support for watching the videos, even whilst I'm out here in LA. Now I've got some very exciting content dropping. Hopefully, if everything goes according to the plan, obviously I'm going to be linking up with the boys. Well, I've already saw them for dinner a couple of days ago, Fernando and Jacob. So that would be quite cool. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention: vlogs. Now a lot of you guys have been asking for it, and to be fair, I have been filming. It's one of those things that I'm always a bit iffy about with regards to doing. I really like them, I love watching them, but I just don't find my life to be that interesting or exciting enough to kind of, like I might look back with my friends and, and find it funny or just reminisce about it, but I don't know if you guys will. We'll see, we'll see how I feel about it. I'm gonna, I might put it out, I might not, but that is going to conclude this video. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all in this corner right here, S-A-N-G-I-E-V. Thank you ever so much. Have a beautiful day, take care, peace. Thank you.